Hi guys, welcome to Glasgow's last regionals. This is 26 of May, so well, it'll all be good. I'm gonna lean off this. Uh, in the play box today, we have Andrew Campbell, one of the core members of the YMYT, here to try and earn a spot for Nats, and our friend Charlie from Paisley. Hello, I'm looking at the camera, but I can't see me. Camera, so. you can't, <laughs> I'm like, hi! Hello! The camera cannot see you, luckily. Yes, so okay. I'm very, very happy about that, no, don't you worry. Okay. Um, so, uh, I believe Andrew will be taking play. Yes, I'll be uh, starting off beforehand. Whenever you're ready. Okay. Get off the tongue. I'm going to pitch and echo. And an archer for echo. Um, I'm going to take the third and fourth effect of looking at the top of my deck and I'm going to place it at the bottom of my deck if I wish. And then the fourth effect of drawing one card. I love those sleeves, they're fantastic. <laughs> uh, I say every time I see all the fancy sleeves from regionals and stuff, but they are always really nice. I mean, can't tell my favourite new clip. I am half Tom. Okay, I draw two. Pick up two. Like, 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 can't tell my favourite Tom and get you. I will sack Porum and Pondries to play Lenora. Sack Jim Carly Palum or a Porum. Okay. So make sure I've got what I need. I need a Porum. So I will take one. Where is the Babby? Take a Babby. The most British thing anyone can do on stream is take a sack of tea. Or well, shaking with it as shaking, well. Shaking, oh god. The round one there. <laughs> Just try not to like, this oh one. look, there go your deck. I've got one back up already. Um, I'll sack Palom and I'll play Luca, which will give Palom a plus one when it's in play. Okay. And I will... I'll pass with that. Two Untap. very interesting decks right here. Draw one. one. Two. I thought I'd play something a bit silly. We like to entertain here. Yeah. Just for reference, I am competing today, but um, round one bye. So here I am commentating. For no panic value. <laughs> Going to tap one. Mm -hmm. Pitching a major mm -hmm. on Louis Fethron. Okay. When Louis Fethron comes into play, I search my deck for an Alphanod. I'm glad you're saying this as well for the stream because I often have to ask people, I forget cards as I go. Yeah. So yeah. I'm always need to go, what's this? What's this? I'm also going to fix my deck to realise I've got some cards upside down and it's doing my head. Yeah, I sort of noticed that as I was shuffling. <laughs> I was yeah, thinking the sleeves were the other way. I was like, have you sat yeah. it that way on purpose? Or... <laughs> I could have fixed it, but oh well. You monster. <laughs> um, yeah, stream matches are fantastic for well, I've been watching stuff. them as well, because you obviously upload them, so I keep an eye on it every now and again. Shout out to the YYT YouTube channel. Link will be in the description, like, favourite, subscribe. And the YouTube channel. <laughs> yes. I find the channel on the channel, by the channel, for the channel. Now I'll be in the Facebook stream channel, if this is going on stream, I don't know. It's up to Steve. I'm just using my laptop to the cords. And... I'm not sure how to stream for you. Oh, okay. oh, yeah. And I'm going to pitch a onion knight on an alpha nod and half tongue. Okay, what does alpha nod do? It's a reduction cost, doesn't it? Uh, choose one active forward by tapping one lightning in itself uh -huh. and deal it 1,000 damage if I have a ski on of the uh, ski on of the seventh dawn, you deal 2,000 instead. Okay. Um, I've drawn two. Yes. I'll tap one up with Forum. Okay. So the Forum is chosen by a summoner ability or Palm is chosen. I get to bounce it back to my hand. Okay. Uh, um, just for stream sake, it'll be okay for you. Uh, yeah, of course. Yes, I uh, have, the, have the backups in a bit more. Well, thanks, so about it. Um, I will pass with that. I don't want to do anything else. Thank you. <laughs> so I have to buy apps and leaning on things as well. I, oh, I'm so bad for that. I'm a very anxious person, so I'm always mm. terrified what my hands are doing and I end up doing really disgusting things on the stream and having to watch it and hate myself forever. Do you want to try with the carpet again? Yes. So. 
to him by summon from the ability. So not auto abilities, just auto abilities as well. Yeah. If it's chosen, yeah. So if it, so if you stand Toto, it doesn't matter. But if you, I'll set it. Or and the second if you effect, have to tap Porum, it yes, targets. Yes. Okay, and the second effect is I can tap two, put Porum in the break zone, search for Porum and deck and play. It. Okay. So you kill your Porum, you play a better. Bottom. Yes. Really good for the Legend one and Opus 5. Mm. Such a good card. One of the best draw effects we have in the game right now. See, I'm one of the only people so far that really likes Opus 5 Palo. Palo? Because I can oh. use it in this deck. And it's the only deck I can see it working in really well. For anyone who's not seen the theme quite yet, it is definitely Fire, Water, Pour and Palo. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to tap 2. Yes. To play a Magus. Ah. <laughs> Sweats nervously. It's just the backup game going Yeah, this is a lot of backups. And I will have top. Okay. Sometimes it is better to take the first couple of damages just to get yourself set up and then sweep from then on out. Um, typical good idea is the first three damages don't, doesn't really matter too much unless it's a series. It's all dealt in one turn. Hmm. Would you agree? Uh, I would agree. Sorry, though. More it's smash on in the background and it's terrifying. <laughs> Um, I will tap two. I'll play Kagnazo. Okay. And I will pass. Okay, untap three. Draw. It's an interesting use of this Kagnazo. It's a very stolly card and it's excellent against decks that like to force your damage and stuff, such as Andy Campbell's here and one here. How many cards do you have in hand? Five. Five. Oh, oh. Isn't that just the scariest? <laughs> I am going to... and what is Kagnazo? Kagnazo can, um, cannot block a forward in a group mm. or a party. Um, if Kagnazo blocks, he kills and takes zero damage for that turn, so essentially nulls it. And if Kagnazo is dull, he cannot receive or deal any damage. This includes player damage. Okay. It's uh, opus to hero. That's a good man. <laughs> I'm going to tap three cards yes. to play the day. Okay. I would like to have a look at your hand. Hmm. I think the day as well. <laughs> I was making fun of you a second ago. We have a Bismarck, Opus 3 Podom, Opus 5 Palom, a look at and a Fun Free. Or Fan for it, however you pronounce it. Um, I like the Fan Free. Fun free. I've been hand around the floor and too much. <laughs> oh. I would quite like it. We could get rid of this. Ah, uh, yeah, good, good choice. Uh, killing off that Zidane would be really easy. <laughs> mm. Unless you get rid of that. And I will pass top. Okay. Win Zidane. Um, a lot of people consider it an instant addition to any win deck. Um, it's, I, I would agree, it's an ex excellent card. Taking out threats to itself and the rest of your deck early on is excellent. And this card is always really good as many of the ice players such as myself would agree. Sorry, I just had a quick think. No, don't worry about it at all. Um, Take your time. We're in no rush. I will. Tap one. Okay. Set one. And play fan trips. Please break the card. Okay. I'll break the ding. I choose Porum. Four okay. Porum breaks so I will then sack Porum for cost. Okay. Tap and break Porum. So let me use that effect to play another one. So, I will take... Okay. This is one that I had to look into for a while, but I found that it's stupid. So yeah. I might as well play it. Mm. EX Porum's effect, I take the top three cards of my deck. Uh, but just before you do that, I'll allow uh, you to spawn. Yeah, of course, would you allow um, to spawn? Uh, just before you... Oh, yeah. oh sorry. Um, a lot would... Con so, um, that that would be a completely legal play, as Humphrey's ability um, does not cost the forward to uh, be put into break zone. That is just an effect of it. This is similar to Opus 1 Delita when it entered the field. So you can choose one forward and break it, compared to it being the cost of the card. So it was legal and an excellent play. Um, so I can't attack with Kagnazo because he does the no damage. Does the uh, bottom specify into field dull? No, just enter field. Says play into field. So well, but I can't attack with this turn because you just carried it. Yeah. Can I read it? Yeah, of course. Choose one action on the field. Okay. Is that a semi-emperor? I will tap one. 
I'll play Palom. I'll pass. And what is Palom's effect? For I if I put the biggest cards on here with the biggest text. <laughs> when Palom attacks, choose one forward, opponent controls, deal 2,000 damage. When Palom deals damage to the opponent, or when forward damage by Palom is put into the break zone, during the same turn, you may put Palom into the break zone. If you do so, search for one card named Palom and play it onto the field. Okay. It's similar to the um, Palom we just seen it is really good at playing the big Palom, uh, Palom sorry, when needed. Okay. That's going to happen a lot this game. I will pass for that. To untap my backup and draw two. Hmm. Okay, I like this. I'm going to start off by pitching an echo and a blue fifth run to play Alpha. Ah, target a boy. I would like to target Porum, please. Cool. Uh, any response to that? I have no response. Okay. Who then deploys Eloa? Okay. Deal Die, Porum. Right. Hello, another amazing card added to Lightning's um, upholstery in uh, Opus 5. People hate it. <laughs> it's an interesting one. Yeah, I found a good counter to it in Isis, uh, Opus 1 Terra, because you could target it for one Ice. Love the Opus 1 Terra card. Fantastic. A bit of deck around it, which you may hopefully will see on stream today. I am going to. He has 2000 power right because of. Okay, yes, plus one. Okay, I'm going to tap four. To play Onion Knight. Mm -hmm. When Onion Knight enters the field, troop and forward, deal it 3000 damage. Okay. Or attacks, basically. Or attacks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And on that note, I will end my turn. Sorry, just gonna make a quick second to think about what I can do here. You know what? Um, this has been a very bad game. Okay. okay. I'll tap two and sack a copy of the Booker. Then pull them. Okay. Uh, I can't do what I want to do there. Bums. <laughs> How unfortunate. Um, this is the Opus 3 Porum. When Porum enters the field, activate the forward to control, but obviously has a for little value as the Kid Nazo is already active. And what is, does the special do? The special, um, you choose one forward and the next damage lift it becomes zero. Okay. This turn, yeah. So, Untap. it's a nice block, a free one. It's a good free block for a, you know, swing in, you block the Onion Knight and then you force an unfavourable, not even trades. Yeah. Good. I enjoy it. Mm. That was nearly English there, what I said. You, but you gonna, got there. We're just going to yeah. go along with it, right? And we have picked the cards with the most text on them. <laughs> we have, so yes. <laughs> Onion Knight is even worse as it is. The yeah. highest text card around. Okay, I'm going to tap Alpha Nod. Uh -huh. And, well, Alpha Nod and Louis Fifth Rod okay. to activate its ability. Okay. Dealing 1,000 damage to Porom. Okay. So yep. she has 7,000 left. Six. Look at oh. Okay, I'm then going to tap Magus uh, to play Ramu, dealing it an additional 7,000. Okay. Ramu, once again, another Opus 5 thing that Square Enix decided Lightning really needed really much a lot. Uh, <laughs> entering combat phase. I am going to swing for one of Onion Knight, okay. dealing 3,000 to King Nava. Okay. Going to swing for a second time with Illawa. Okay, I'll choose to block the Pagnazza. Okay, and then I shall swing with Alfred for a third point of damage. Okay, I'll take that. Bye, Porum. Oh, ooh, pepperoni. Um, entering main phase two, okay. I'm going to activate Illawa's special. Which is? 
I activate all forwards I control and they gain haste and I reduce the power of your forwards by 2000. Okay, he can't take damage at this point anyway. That is fine, he's been taking damage, he took damage from Onion Knight. Okay, so that's uh, well breaking. Yes, yeah, so that's well breaking. I mean, his power's been yeah, reduced. So he's been dealt 3000 damage this turn and his power's been reduced to 3000, so the board recalculates his damage. Nice. He's taken enough to die. Mm -hmm. And on that note, I shall pass turn. Okay, okay, I'll draw two. Um, be a good time for a shuttle to right now. <laughs> <laughs> that famous air. It's like two tap one. I play big problem. So I don't get the effect of Corum being in play of drawing a card. But I can do seven thousand by acting forward. You, for note, you can target Illua, but the first target will fizzle. Fizzle on onion. Onion knight would be the correct target. I though. figured, but then what's the zoom? Yeah. Um, with that, I'll pass. Untap. Drawing untapped up. I N other MTCG uh, players are available. Uh, I am going to still Yox cast pattern at this point. Good pattern, lots. It's got them seven million subscribers. <laughs> well, yeah, still doing one, something right. One day we'll get there. One day. One day. I am six, going right? to. I really don't want to be playing this when you have your Minecraft review you halfway through <laughs> the game. I'm like, oh no. Just going to quickly check my. I said a shadow of Ezra Felby and a shadow of Yuna. The light of Yuna. Why though? Why though? Because Yuna is fantastic. Um, I think this will be the first time we've featured our custom, or Steve's custom playmat. for the, in the, well, the Paisley one, I believe. Was it? Well, ah, yeah. fair enough. Mm. I remember won. seeing it. No one I was on, wanted to play stream with me on oh. Sunday though. Oh. Every single person was like, no. How many cards do you have in hand? Two. Two. Okay. So he has 5,000 power? Yes. This one? Yeah, 5, yeah. Hmm. And what is his secondary effect? Dull L. Uh, pay two. Dull one act forward. Choose one forward and deal a thousand damage. Okay. A whole lot to deal a thousand. Sad. That is very I've managed to use it a couple of times where he comes in at seven and then you dull an all thing and he gets the eight. It's Fair, just a free yeah. win off yeah. I suppose that's uh, quite good in the case of Alcid. Uh, yeah. With being able to dull the target. Oh. Yeah, good against yes. Alcid. I'm going to pitch a Alpha Nod. Yes. For an Uning Anger. Okay. Search a monster. I do not have any monsters in my graveyard. Oh. Ah, I see what you're doing. I'm then going to tap Alpha Nod and Louis Fethron. Mm -hmm. Because I have a Scion of the Seventh Dawn forward. You can play a card for cheaper. Uh, no, it becomes 2000 burn to Palo. Okay. Instead of 1000. So, um, choose one active forward. The deal at 1000 damage. If you control drop sign of the seventh dawn, such as a ring here, deal two thousand damage instead. Yeah, it's very fine. cheap, excellent, like, repeatable ping for the lightning. And then I'm going to tap Echo to play Shara. When Shara enters oh, the field, choose one forward your opponent controls and deal it three thousand damage. Wise. Hallam has taken five. Oh no. Entering the combat step, mm -hmm. I would like to swing with follower. Take it. And then I shall swing with Alfred. Take it. Elias, I will target Alfred with it and draw a card. Good choice. You sure you don't want to target it? Elo. Are you anger? <laughs> no, I'm good. El Elo, <laughs> cancel. Actually, it wouldn't cancel. It would. It wouldn't, isn't it? Oh, yes, that is correct. Yeah. Um, and on that note, I will pass to just for the uninformed, an EX burst um, always, essentially always goes to the top of the stack, so will always happen first, even if you add to the stack later on. Um, so, top card. I take it. So, Eloa's ability to cancel an effect will not happen in time. It'll happen, just not in time. I have not got much going on in this game, I'm afraid. This will be an easy one for you. I hate to say it, but I can't really do much. I'll play Kegnazo. Okay. Kegnazo has been able to hold back one damage. And um, I'll pass. Honestly, I've got nothing. On tap. Let's give me a look at your hand just for. I'm on stream, I cannot lie. <laughs> I could respond, but it's, so it's not worth it. Yeah, fair. Um, 
Okay. I'm going to pitch a just a simple way. Going to tap two to deal two thousand to tag nazo. And then going to tap and crack Magus and it deals an additional four thousand. Yep, that's fine. Um, entering combat phase, mm -hmm. swing of Eloa. Take it. Elias, target Eloa. Draw a card. Let's see. Nothing changes. Oh, oh god. Swing of Alfred. Okay, in response to swing with Alfred then, I will sack two. And I'll play Phoenix. That lets me deal 2,000 across your board, and I can take a two or less and play it back to the field. I will take... Cagnazzo! So, Uri Anger does die. Okay. And then, I'm on one, two, three, four, five. I will block Cagnazzo. Um, I... Oh, just before the block of the declaration. All right. Yes. Would you like to declare anything as I play Cagnazzo? As you play Cagnazzo. So is this on the Is this after Phoenix resolves? Or? This is after Phoenix resolves. Okay, that's and yeah. let's play Cagnazzo. So before the block of declaration, I'm going to tap Echo, mm -hmm. pitching a Barbarishka and a Regdia mm -hmm. to play Diabloth. Okay. Um, reduce him down. Yep. I'm going to reduce him down. Okay. And activate my backup. He goes down to one thousand. Okay. Um, now that that's resolved, I'm now going to tap Louis and Alphanod to deal an additional one thousand damage. Okay. And I shall. So and uh, the, the damage will. Yeah, I need to take out that now. Yep. So for a pile of forum. <laughs> Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. take big boy. Yeah. I'm sure I took loads of them there. I'll take <laughs> big boy. It doesn't change anything. How to win that? And throw children across the board. <laughs> We're not playing orphan. Hide three cards under some children. <laughs> Palmborn can't play orphan, that's too dark for them. <laughs> game. Uh, Good game. That was a fantastic game. Was it? Uh, <laughs> I played orphan. That was, that was interesting. We got two very interesting decks. One of heavy removal and one that we've not actually seen much in the Gate Street today. I never got much of that there. I'll come back. I'll see if I can come back. Yeah. I've got three games. You have three games left. And yeah. I can't get the buy because I lost, so it's fine. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the Final Fantasy buy is awful, and if you, they will sometimes they will sometimes give the person in third place the buy. Newcastle, I'm looking at you. There's, there's a little <laughs> bit of hatred in that one there. Yeah, yeah. There's, that was not aimed at all, Square Enix. Just please. I really like that, actually. It's a fun idea. I love the Scion stuff. I've just never built with it myself. Um, it's, it's just a very little bit. It just adds. That just a nice extra kind of instant thing in Uri Anger to bring back yeah. my favourite Neil Pet who didn't show up at all. <laughs> it's uh, an excellent repeatable ping which Lightning really needed in Opus 5. <laughs> well, thanks guys, that was um, round one of our Final Fantasy TCG regionals. Here at Glasgow Geek Street. Shame none of his, uh, not many of you showed up, but we've got a good crowd here. <laughs> not aimed, I promise.